Want to update you on this, a man is in custody after leading officers on a chase and then refusing to surrender while on the freeway. This standoff lasted several hours, shutting down traffic during rush hour on the 8 West on-ramp from the 805. And 10 News reporter Marie Coronel reports on what she's learned about that man. Right now, the man is going through a mental evaluation. At this point, officers will not release his name. They will only say he's 36 years old and he's from San Diego. There were tense moments like this where you could see officers with their guns drawn approaching the man who kept inching backwards as he moved towards one end of the eight on ramp and officers followed. He could be seen leaning against the railing, sometimes crossing over it or sitting on it. And at one point, he tried to light a cigarette, but didn't have a lighter. Officers had to give him one. All while drivers were rerouted and cars stopped because the freeway on ramp had been shut down. Officers say this started when they got reports of a stalled car. When they got there, the driver took off, leading them on a chase, eventually ending on the freeway. But it didn't end there. The man made it all the way down, very close to the drop off on the 8. He was cornered with officers and patrol cars on each end. And he was even on the ground. But officers didn't make any sudden moves. There's a certain protocol that we, we have when anytime we are dealing with somebody with um, those types of issues, if they're trying to hurt themselves, obviously we don't want to give them certain things or do certain things to provoke them. Uh, or make them agitated or angry. The man went back and forth with crisis negotiators and began walking on the outside of the railing and even hung upside down with no hands. But eventually he surrendered to officers. When I asked about possible charges, officers tell me the focus right now is on his mental evaluation. Then from there, they'll decide whether charges will be filed. From Claremont Mesa, Marie Cornell, 10 News.